to standardize 0.1 normal sulfuric acid solution. Standardization of H2SO4 Sulfuric acid is a secondary standard with the molecular formula H2SO4. It is a colorless, odorless, syrupy liquid that is soluble in water with a reaction that is highly exothermic. It is a strong acid and corrosive in nature. Requirements Analytical balance Volumetric flask Burette Pipette Measuring cylinder Conical flask Beakers And indicator Phenophthalene is required to standardize H2SO4. Preparations Preparations of 0.1 normal H2SO4 is required. There are two methods which can be used to prepare H2SO4 solution. First using IP formula and other using calculations including strength and specific gravity. So check previous video how to prepare 1 normal and 0.1 normal H2SO4 for calculation part. Preparation Take about 300 ml of distilled water in a beaker and measure out nearly 1.4 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and add in small portions to the distilled water with constant stirring. Then add 200 ml more water and allow the solution to come to room temperature and transfer it to the reagent bottle and label the solution appropriately. For the amount 1.4 ml calculation part you have to watch previous video. Next is the preparation of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. Here we are standardizing sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide. That is why we need 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution as well. Weigh about 2 gram of sodium hydroxide on a watch glass and transfer it with the help of funnel to a reagent bottle containing about 300 ml of distilled water. Shake the flask to dissolve sodium hydroxide and add 200 ml more distilled water. This will give a solution of sodium hydroxide of approximately 0.1 normal strength and label the solution appropriately. Watch previous video for the calculation part. How we calculate 2 gram of Sodium hydroxide is needed to prepare 500 ml of NOH solution. Important notes. Take acid in flask and add base from the burette. This is very important. And initially the acid in the flask does not show any color change because the indicator phenolphthalein is in unionized form. So look at the picture. Here we are taking sodium hydroxide in the burette and sulfuric acid in the conical flask. As the titration proceeds, acid and base reacts and neutralization reaction takes place. This is an example of neutralization reaction which occurs between an acid and base. As the acid in the conical flask gets consumed, in the reaction, the indicator starts to dissociate in basic medium and shows a prominent visual color change of colorless to pink. As the acid in the conical flask gets consumed in the reaction, the indicator starts to dissociate in basic medium and shows a prominent pink color. Look at the picture. Colorless to pink color at the end point of the titration. Reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Look at the reaction. Here sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate and water. There are two moles of H plus ions supplied by each mole of sulfuric acid in the reaction. Since 1 mole of H plus is consumed per mole of sodium hydroxide, so 1 mole of sulfuric acid reacts with 2 moles of NaOH. Here, primary standard is sodium hydroxide. Why? 
because it is already standardized to know how to standardize NOH, please watch previous video. H2SO4 solution normality is to be determined here because we have made approximately 0.1 normal H2SO4 solution and to use it as a standard we have to standardize it. Now titration part. Step 1. Fill the burette with NOH solution carefully so that no air bubbles got entrapped inside the burette. Now adjust the meniscus of the solution in the burette to 0, 0.0 reading. Look at the image. We should check the meniscus for 0, 0.0 reading. Step 2. Take 25 ml of sulfuric acid solution in conical flask with the help of pipette. You can change the volume also. Uh, in place of 25 ml, you can take 10 ml, 15 ml in the conical flask. And to ensure the right quantity is transferred into the flask, always use pipette. Don't use measuring cylinders because it is not accurate as pipette and it may lead to errors. Step 3. Add 2 to 3 drops of indicator into the acid solution. The solution will be colorless as indicator is undissociated form. Step 4. As the titration proceeds, the acid in the flask gets consumed in the reaction when whole acid got consumed, the indicator is a weak acid and it dissociates to react with the base which is NOH and on dissociation the end point is indicated by the pink color of the phenolphthalein. As you can see in the picture from colorless to pink color is showing its end point. Step 5. Take at least 3 consecutive readings for accurate results. Average volume is used in calculation to minimize the error. The difference between the two readings should not be more than 0.5 ml. And look at the observation table which you, you will get like this. Initial reading suppose we are taking as 0 and final reading comes out to be 25 ml or 25.1 ml or 24.9 ml. Then we can take the average of the volume consumed of NOH. Now calculation part. Formula we will use normality equation N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2 where one side is of acid and other is of base. Let's take N1 is equal to the normality of sulfuric acid solution and V1 is the volume of sulfuric acid taken. N2 is the normality of NOH solution and V2 is the volume of the NOH solution consumed. Here N1 is to be calculated as we are doing standardization of H2SO4 and V1 is the volume of H2SO4 taken that is 25 ml and N2 is the normality of NOH solution which is 0.1 normal. V2 is the volume of NOH solution consumed. Here the NOH solution which we are using is already standardized and after putting the values we get the value of N1 is equal to 0.1 normal. So result this standard solution of H2SO4 is used for analytical purposes and the H2SO4 solution was prepared and standardized using NOH and the strength of the prepared solution was found to be 0.1 normal. This is our result. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.